Hey everyone, my name is Steve Domino and I'm a developer here at Pagoda Box. and today I'll be giving you a quick demonstration of how easy it is to launch your first application on Pagoda Box. I'll begin by naming my application and after providing an SSH key so that I can connect to the Git repository that Pagoda Box creates for me, I'll need to initialize my repo, add Pagoda Box as a Git remote, and push all my code to Pagoda Box. Now this might take a few moments, but we've provided logs so that you can see everything that we're doing along the way. And once completed, I'll be able to access my application dashboard and view my application online immediately. All right, looks like everything's completed, so I'll go ahead, continue my dashboard, and view my application. There we go. Now, if this was a static application, I'd be done. However, this application was designed for use with a database. So to add a database, I'll go ahead and go back to my application dashboard, select Add a Database, and choose from the available options. And then after a quick transaction, I'll be able to see that my application does have a database connected to it. All right, I'll go ahead and refresh my page. And indeed, my application is now connected to a database. Pretty cool. Now, if I just want to con simply continue development, I can go into my application and make a change. And once I make a change, all I need to do is commit that change and push to Pagoda. Now, once this transaction completes, I'll be able to refresh the page and see my change on the front site immediately. All right, I'll go ahead and refresh my page, and we can see my change. However, this change turned out to be an error. So rather than having to go back through my code and figure out what it was that I did wrong, Pagoda Box provides the availability for me to simply undo my last commit. So what I'll do is undo my last commit, which will bring my application back to a state where I know it was working before I made an error. After this, I'll refresh the page and see that my application is indeed back to a working state and I can continue on with development as if nothing had ever happened. Thanks for watching.